Hi, welcome back to the Picky Channel. I just want to start off by saying happy holidays and please subscribe below. So, I've been getting a lot of questions. Hey, how dear, when are you going to do a finance video? Hey, how dear, when are you going to do a finance video? Well, here I am. I'm about to do this finance video. So, the first video that I'm going to do is going to be about pre-deployment. So, I'm just going to quickly go over a few things that you need to do financially to make sure you and your family are going to be all right while you're gone. So first things first, you need to know what your income and expenses are going to be while you're gone. So you need to know if you're going to have any increases in your income, like potential deployment entitlements, or if you could possibly lose a second income due to maybe your spouse um, not working while you're gone just to help take care of the kids. Or you can also have an increase from bonuses. Potential expenses could include extra child care services because maybe your spouse now has to work more hours to help take care of the kids. Or you could also be getting meal deductions depending on where you get deployed to. I know some places they take deductions out of your paycheck. You also need to make sure you're prepared for unexpected maintenance and repairs that you might have on your vehicles back at home. Or maybe insurance premiums may go up. So these are a little little things that you need to look at and sit down with your spouse or partner and make sure that you're good to go and they're good to go where you're gone. In my opinion, I think the best way to manage your expenses or in income is to have an online banking account. I know it sounds dumb, but some people, they don't have a good relationship with their online banking. So when I say online banking, I mean maybe set up auto draft protection or you set up auto payments on stuff because maybe your spouse isn't used to paying certain bills so maybe they forget about it but if you already have that set in place before you leave they don't have to worry you don't have to worry about that bill or payment on a car or house being missed so next i'm going to talk a little bit about some sort resources that are out there for us that you can use while you're gone i'm going to start off with the mla which is the military lending act so this is an act where um, whenever you go get maybe a car, a new credit card, it sets a limit on how much that company can charge you interest on whatever you buy. So like if you were to go buy a car, they can't charge you over a certain, for that loan for that car, they can't charge you over a certain percentage. This act ensures that you do not have to pay any penalties for having to end at least sooner than what you were supposed to. So let's just say that you went to Fort Stewart and you just got a new apartment and you just bought a new car. And then two months later, you found out you're getting deployed. What do you do, right? So you go to that company, you say, hey, here are my orders and I need to end my lease early or I need to give you back this car because I just found I'm going to be gone for nine to 12 months. Um, because of this act, they have no choice but to let you out of that lease without any penalties. The next thing I encourage you to look into before you deploy is your student loans. So if you currently have student loans and you're about to be deployed, I would contact whoever, is, whoever gave you your student loan and let them know and give, give them your order showing that you're deploying so that you don't get charged interest while you're gone. So they will stop your interest on your loans while you're gone. And then if you're being deployed into a hostile area, they, some companies will actually cancel your loans. Also, if you deploy into a combat zone, your income will not be subject to federal income tax. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is a saving deposit program. Please, while you're deployed, please use this program to your advantage. The Army is giving you a free 10% annual interest rate on your savings account if you do this while you're deployed. And you can do it up to $10,000. So if you put $10,000 into your SDP, the Army will pay you 10% for an for annual rate and it compounds quarterly. And it also lasts 90 days after you get back. The second and last thing I'm gonna talk about is your credit. While you're gone, I suggest freezing your credit, putting a security hold on your cards to make sure that there is no fraud or anything while you're gone because nine times out of 10, while you're gone, you're not gonna have a whole bunch of access to the internet to check your credit periodically. So if you set that in place before you leave, you should be good to go. Last but not least, I am gonna talk about your life insurance and your will and your PA. Please 
please make sure before you leave, everything is updated and accurate. I've had wives come into the finance office where their spouse passed away sadly and everything is going to his ex-wife or his ex-girlfriend. And sadly, there's nothing we can do because on his SGOV, because they didn't update it, we have to give it to whoever that person is. So please make sure you put your family first and you make sure all this is updated before you leave. Have a PA set in place so that if you need something that needs to be taken care of and it can't wait until you get back, make sure that you have someone that you trust to have access to your, to your things to make sure that your family is taken care of and that you are taken care of. Next week, I'm gonna do another video on post-deployment. So things that you need to make sure is good to go when you get back. Um, below, I'm gonna put links for you to look at just in case you know you might need help with something else that I haven't talked about. But please subscribe and see you next week.